This is Tomas, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the dictionary items method. Okay, so first I will explain its, uh, give you guys its definition. So a the dictionary items method is a is a method that outputs a list of key value tuple pairs of a dictionary. Okay, and then in, uh, next I'm going to explain uh, the method's um, syntax. So here, see when I declare the dictionary class, and then, um, and then call um, call the items method, which uh, which will return the items of the dictionary. So the parameters of the dictionary, the dictionary items method does not input any parameters. And then as for the output value of the method, the dictionary items method outputs a view object type that shows a list of key value tuple pairs of a dictionary in the form of uh, key values. So let me show you just to, uh, just to give you an idea. Let me show you the syntax of that. So here, uh, here's kind of the syntax you understand. So so here we have a list, and within the list we have our tuples, our, our key value, key value, key value, and um, notice how the key needs to be uh, unique. Uh, and then uh, the values can be whatever they can be, the same or whatever. Okay, so that's that's good. And so in the next step, I'm going to show you a simple grocery items dictionary. So let me. Uh, open up a new code cell to show you the example and place it in there okay so here I declare a, a grocery items dictionary and they're just random grocery items like bread melon eggs and it just uh, their price uh, that you gotta pay for that you gotta pay for the grocery items, and let me print let me print it out by calling the items method. Okay, there we go, and. Here we print out, uh, see, we have, we have the dictionary items. Dictionary items, and we have, we have it as a list of tuples, and then we have uh, all our key values in tuples, which is, which is a really nice format to view them. And then in the next, uh, the next part of this example, I'm gonna show if mutating a dictionary affects an updated dictionary when applying it again. So let me show you guys. One second. There we go. So we're going to declare. Uh, so we're going to declare a uh, current groceries variable and then we're going to set it to grocery uh, uh, so we're going to call the grocery items variable and call the items method on that to store in the current groceries then we're going to want to print out the original groceries and call uh, call out the current groceries and then And then we're going to delete uh, one of the grocery items, a melon. And then, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, print out the original grocery items again to see what's stored in there. And then we're going to want to print out the current groceries again. So let me run this. And here, see we have our results. We have our original dictionary items. We have our original groceries. Uh, that, that they're the same and then we have our original original groceries without the melon 
item and then we have our updated uh, groceries where you can see it's without the mountain again so uh, the, re the result the results show that the current groceries uh, dictionary refers to the original grocery items uh, dictionary so removing items from the original grocery items will, will also affect the results of the current groceries dictionary being called okay uh thank you and i i hope this gave you guys a good idea of the dictionary items method